You ready to get into the stuff? Let's look at our first article. And here's how I want to present it to you. I want you to know that I I understand the idea of second chances. I also feel like I have a pretty good grasp of what would be considered reality. First of all, do you know who Elizabeth Holmes is? She was supposed to be the next Steve Jobs. She was uh, convicted of fraud in a court of law. I think she did. I think she I think she had a huge fraud. And I think that as we go on down the road, you're going to start seeing more things um, become fraudulent because the market's going to be the cash is going to be expensive. And when you ever when you have to commit fraud, you have to pay people money so that they don't notice that you're creating, you know, that you're a fraud. And so as that gets more expensive, I think that the people that are committing frauds right now are going to um, eat it. And then we're going to see it. Um, I don't know. I don't know the details of the FTX thing, but I do know that that fellow is supposed to be in the Bahamas, but his plane is in Argentina and there was a hack and all kinds of millions of dollars disappeared. I mean, it's not looking real good for the, uh, that guy, Sam, whatever the hell his name is. Anyway, so this was he this was before. This was before that. This is new. This was this was the latest fraud. And I just want to go over it with you because I, I just it's a very it's it's a it's a it's a question. It says Elizabeth Holmes has asked for 18 months of house arrest to avoid going to jail for her Theranos Theranos fraud convictions, reports say. Now this is a woman that uh stood up there and lied and lied and lied. People invested their hard-earned money, funds invested their money, and uh, it was based on a faulty premise that she knew about at the end of the day. It says, Convicted Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes has appealed for leniency of an 18-month home sentence as she awaits sentencing. So she's like, yeah, I did a bunch of wrong things, but can you be lenient? Like, can you not? Can you not throw the book at me? An 82-page filing seen by the Associated Press and Bloomberg reportedly shows that she asked for a lenient sentence among, un, uh, under house arrest, which came alongside more than 130 letters from Holmes' friends, family, investors, and former employees who lawyers had said showcased the real Elizabeth Holmes. Well, I bet if you look at who came to our defense, I think there'll be a pattern. Um, and then also, can you imagine... like? I, I wake every I woke I wake up every day in in fear of being sued, out of business or or being put in jail. These this is this I mean I live in fear of this. Am I doing anything shady? No, and that's even worse because now prove that you're not comes into play. Anyway, this this lady she just kind of said okay well I am I am going to do all these things and if I go to jail oh well, I have enough money to get out. I, have, I can afford the best lawyers. I can do whatever I want. And so it says lawyers for Holmes, who was convicted in January on multiple fraud charges, told the U.S. District Court, U.S. District Judge Edward Davila that sending her to prison was unnecessary after being stigmatized by intense media coverage that had turned her into a character to be mocked and vilified. So what they're saying is that she doesn't deserve prison because Everyone's making fun of her for what she did. What does that have to do with what, what she did? We acknowledge this is a tall order given the specific perception of the case, especially when Mrs. Holmes is viewed as Ms. Holmes is viewed as a character, not the person. The filing said per the nose. Now, let me just put it to you like this. Do you really think this woman who's worth probably more than a million dollars, okay, on a bad day, do you really think that she doesn't have like PR people still working for her? And do you really believe that she didn't have, that she didn't have, um, 
you know, she couldn't she couldn't have PR people plant stories. Do you really believe that's the case? Now, did I say that she specifically leaked these these requests for leniency? I don't know. But I think that if you're a lawyer, you should be smart enough to know that now you fight the case in the court of public opinion. Prosecutors are expected to pursue a much harsher sentence for Holmes, who faces up to 20, to 20 years in prison on each of the four counts in which she was convicted. So four times 20 is 80 years there. You know, the fed could ask for 80 years, 80. And she's asking for 18 months in her home. Hmm. It just seems like there's a very, a very big difference between those two spaces. Let's continue. Home shot to fame after dropping out of Stanford at 19 to found the blood monitoring health tech company, which once attracted a $9 billion valuation. It came crumbling down after the Food and Drug Administration began investigating reports of major inaccuracies in the country's testing, reinforced by a 2015 report by this fellow, which was a good, like, that was real journalism. I'm proud of that man. Uh, Holmes was convicted on four counts of fraud-related charges linked to investments made by a hedge fund manager. Brian Grossman, the DeVos family, and former Kravath attorney Daniel Mosley, with the jury failing to reach a verdict on three other charges. Sonny Balwani, her former partner, was separately convicted in July of all 12 counts of investor and patient fraud. I think it's patient fraud, but it could be, it, no, it can't be patent. It's got to be patient fraud, which he was originally charged. So her strategy was even though she was the face of the company it's the dude's fault blame the indian dude but i want you to see a different side of the article you'll notice like she see how she's nice like she's got her little hair out and it's not pulled back she's not wearing all black anymore she doesn't talk funny um she, she's not acting anymore It says Elizabeth Holmes, prosecutor, seek 15-year sentence and $800 million in restitution. Theranos founder faces maximum of 20 years in prison. A maximum. This is a maximum of 20 years in prison after she's found guilty. So they're saying not, not 20 years for each count. They're saying 20 years total. I'm just reading two different articles, and maybe I don't read well. But the point is here, she's got 800. I was talking. I said she might have more than a million. They think she have has at least eight hundred million dollars. I mean, do you know what kind of law, lawyers you can afford for that? The same kind of lawyers that have you know caused her to look this way. It's better for her. She she's the poor young girl that didn't know any better. It was all it was all the Indian dude's fault. Federal prosecutors are asking for a judge to sentence Elizabeth Holmes to fifteen years in prison and require her to pay eight hundred million in restitution. Now, I think what's probably going to happen is she's probably going to go to prison and she's probably going to get pardoned by the next Democrat president. I just think that's what's going to happen. Maybe even this one. Why? Well, look at the campaign donations to uh, Theranos or from Theranos. Ain't too hard to figure out how that's going to go. It says the jury found Holmes guilty in January of four counts of investor fraud and conspiracy. Her sentencing is scheduled for the 18th of November and she faces a maximum of 20 years in prison. So we're going to hear about this now and then we're going to hear about it on the 18th and then that's probably the end of, of us hearing about it. It will go away. The story will fly into the sky, never to be seen again. It says prosecutors order, argued that considering the extensiveness of Holmes's fraud, the recommended sentencing would reflect the seriousness of the offenses 
provide for just punishment for the offenses and deter Holmes and others. Well, I don't think that she is going to be deterred. The question is, is will she be able to, you know, pick herself back up? Should she want to? Holmes lawyer argued in court in, in documents filed on Thursday that the ex Theranos boss should not be sentenced to prison at all. Yeah. She, I mean, what did she do wrong? I mean, she just defrauded people of, I mean, billions of dollars, but I mean, you know, Hey, it's just money. Remember this is, uh, something that I've disagreed with forever. The idea that your property, okay, uh, doesn't have some value. Oh, it's just property. Like, oh, I mean, it's just money. It's, it's yours. If we don't have private property rights, then what are we doing? It says... The court filings argued that Holmes had been made a character to be mocked and vilified. She she is a character to be mocked and vilified. And let me tell you something. If you were at her company while she was in charge and you stepped out of line and stopped drinking the Kool-Aid, you would have been mocked and vilified on your way out the door. Though she is a caring mother and a friend. Oh, what does that have to do with anything? Because you're a mom, it's okay to defraud investors? Because you're someone's friend, it's okay to defraud investors? And you say, well, it's not okay, John. It's not okay. It's just she doesn't deserve the harsh punishments of someone who isn't a mom and isn't a friend deserves. This is a problem for me because, well, I mean, seriously. It says, Miss Holmes is no danger to the public. She was, though. She was a significant danger to the investing public. She has no criminal history. That's not true. She actually is a criminal. That's why she's being sentenced. Has a perfect pretrial services compliance record, so she showed up to court on time. That's great. And is described by the people who know her repeatedly as a gentle and loving person who tries to do the right thing. Uh, again, look at how she's been made over to be a different person than the one that was the all-powerful just what five years ago miss holmes will never be able to seek another job or meet a new friend without the negative character acting as a barrier well why should she work if she's worth if she has 800 million dollars in personal wealth okay and you take that away i guarantee you she's got three or four million laying around pocket change which would dramatically improve the lives of most americans Why should she get another job? What's the point? She made her money. And the way she made her money is what's got her in trouble now. Included in her lawyer's court documents were letters from family and friends attesting the Holmes's character and asking for leniency. Among those who wrote on her behalf is the Democratic New Jersey Senator Cory Booker. And that's all you need to know about my belief that she will eventually get pardoned who wrote a letter dated in September that he considers Holmes a friend after meeting her at a conference in 2016. In the years since, I've always been struck by the way our conversations focused on her desires to make a positive impact on the world. I still believe she holds on to the hope that she can make contributions to the lives of others and she can, despite mistakes, make the world a better place. She can do that all from a prison cell. Write letters. I don't know. Holmes rose to fame as the 19-year-old founder of Theranos, a company that claimed its technology could conduct tests with just a drop of blood. Theranos ballooned to a valuation of $9 billion. It had a good story. It's how these real estate companies that blow up and are huge do it so quickly. They have a good story. Key to the fraud is the good story. Okay? With the help of big-name investors and board members, and Holmes found herself... Once boasted and, and Holmes herself once boasted a net worth of over four billion. Like we're not talking millions, we're talking billions. And I'm supposed to feel sorry for this person. I literally can't go outside right now and start my car. It doesn't start. And I gotta worry about this.
during the trial, witnesses said that their concerns over Theranos' technology had largely been ignored and that Holmes and her then romantic partner, Sonny Balwani, who was the company's Indian, or well, company's Indian, company's chief operating officer, retaliated against employees who spoke out. Okay. Let's go through this again. During the trial, witnesses said that their concerns over Theranos' technology had largely been ignored and that Holmes and her then romantic partner, Sonny Balwani, who was the company's chief operating officer, retaliated against employees who spoke out. Now, is this the same person that is described by the people who know her repeatedly as a gentle and loving person who tries to do the right thing? Holmes argued that Balwani, who's 19 years older, was emotionally and physically abusive during their relationship, influencing her behavior as Theranos' leader. Balwani himself is convicted in, in July tw of 12 counts of fraud and is due to be sentenced in December. It wasn't me. It was, the, it was that guy. Sonny Balwani. I, my, my, my reason for bringing this up, other than it was a Google Trends article, was, look, who deserves leniency and who doesn't? How do we determine this? And are you kidding me that this is the best you can come up with for someone that deserves leniency? You literally, in your, like, if you're the lawyer for her, you're saying, she's already suffered enough letters. How... How much, let me just ask you, what, I mean, is this relevant? What is her home worth right now? What is her home worth right now? What? How much equity does she have in her home? Like, like make her live in a home that I sell, you know, in South St. Louis, that's like $100,000. That would be, that would be, I mean, that's the issue. You're, you're, you're saying that this woman deserves jail or doesn't deserve jail and her, home is nicer than probably 90% of the United States, the people of the United States. It's ridiculous. You have to pay off people a lot of money for them to argue this in, for on your, on your behalf. Cause this is ridiculous. But you know, I don't know the answer. It's it's very easy to uh, excuse me. It's very easy to you know rip on someone else. You know, it's like walk a mile in their shoes. But I just think that people in the United States see the pattern. Okay, they see the pattern of you know, fake it until you make it commit as much fraud and break as many laws as possible to get you to where you want to go. And then you've got all that money. And with all that money, you can afford a good attorney and it won't be so bad. At the end of the day, you'll be fine. You'll still be sleeping on a pile of money. Like, and then, and then my, my belief is like, okay, well, then they should send a message by, you know, just throwing this lady in jail and forgetting the key. But I don't, I don't think, I don't think that, that, that the law should be about sending messages. But, but you certainly see lawyers advocate for it all the time. We're going to send Alex Jones a message by, by suing him for more than a trillion dollars. As silly as that is. Okay, we're going to send a message that you can't do this in America. And so I, I, I reject the notion that we should send a message in this case by, uh, you know, doing anything more or less than what would be required under the, the law. It certainly isn't 18 months in your house, in your mansion. Okay, I'm done with that. Let's move on.